All right, I'm back with some more Bannerlord, and today we're going to be continuing the Yan Sheng series. So last time we had our ups and downs. We started off as a prisoner, which was a down. We got freed and rebuilt our army, which was an up. We lost said army and got taken prisoner once again. We were freed and we joined the rest of the army to take this settlement and they awarded it to us. Then we lost the settlement, but now we have retaken the settlement, although they have not given it back to us. Oh man, it was a bit of a roller coaster last time. So I said the plan for today was to ditch this AI army because they're making some really odd decisions and we were going to retreat back to the homeland and try to rebuild our own army once again. And hopefully we don't run into any obscure soul inquisition or demons or something and they take us out. Maybe we can actually rebuild the army and survive. That is the goal. All right, well, the good news is they have awarded us the settlement once again. So we now have two settlements and two castles under the Golden Phoenix clan. Although that being said, I also did use some influence to end the war. I suggested we make peace with them paying us and everyone agreed. So the war has come to an end. This is great because it now gives me time to prepare. All right, what is the point? What is the point anymore? <laughs> Look how far I walked. Look how far we made it from the settlement. And I receive a notification that we are at war. We have gone to war with the Rablam Kingdom. And do you know whose castles are on the border of the Rablam Kingdom? Oh, okay. Okay, this is how it's gonna be. This is how it's gonna be. The plan for today, we're gonna march through the land, recruiting as many men as possible along the way. And we're gonna have to get to our castles down here because, well, we're gonna have to defend the land. We are the Golden Phoenix. We can't allow the Rablam Kingdom to come marching over and take our land. And no one else is gonna defend it. All right, and the army is rebuilt. We are up to 107 troops. We have marched through the land and we're almost out the other side. So the mission for today is simple, war profiteering. We are going to try to profit from these wars as much as possible, whether it's through ransoms, whether it's through just raiding villages, selling goods, any way we can get our hands on some money, we are going to do it. The Golden Phoenix is not going to fund itself. And if we expect to be the ruler of a dynasty at some point, we need the money to back it up. So that being said, we are going to march over to the Rablam Kingdom. And we're going to see what we can do, eh? Knowing my luck, I'm going to march all the way over. And I'll just leave with their sheep and just the sheep. I'm calling in our lads. <laughs> I'm just going to end up with an inventory full of sheep. And by the time the war is over, my men probably would have eaten said sheep. And oh no, not the obscure Soul Inquisition. No, 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 no. No, we're not dealing with that again. You know what? 65 outcasts here. That's going to be some decent XP for the recruits. So we'll take them out. Hello there, deserters. We are not looking for a fight. Well, you shouldn't have deserted. It's as simple as that. Desertion is a crime punishable by death. Alright, first of all, there is a fog, which means we can't see a thing. Second of all, I think the infantry outnumbers the ranged by quite a bit. Hey, eh? I think we have a bit of an uneven ratio in the army. <laughs> We're going to have to sort that out, lads. We're going to need some more crossbows if we are to dominate this world. All right, here they come, men. Here they come. The deserters are out in force. That's one. Oh, we didn't kill that one. We killed that one, though. Deserters person. Can't have those deserters persons running around our land. All right, infantry. Attack, lads. Clean up here. Come on. Kill the deserters person. I said this will be good XP for the men, but I've just like slaughtered half the outcasts myself. Alright, now that we have got rid of the outcasts on our land, it is time to continue the mission. War profiteering. <laughs> we need to find some poor souls to rob. 
There's an enemy caravan. Can we sneak up on it? Nope. <laughs> oh, we have found an abandoned camp. Explore that. Get a bit of money. But that caravan is long gone. All right. We have found a silk village. Is silk worth a lot? I really don't know. Either way, we're going to raid the village. We're going to see how much we can profit from this and whether it's actually worth raiding villages or if we need to find enemy lords. All right, we got a few more crossbows in the army now. The ratio is still heavily uneven. But with the extra crossbows, we're getting some more kills, which is what I like to see, lads. A green kill feed. That, that is the only thing we want in life, you know? Nothing is better than a green kill feed. Alright, why, why are you all running for me, lads? Back off. Back off, I say. Alright, infantry, attack, lads. Just attack. Cut them down. They're just a bunch of farmers. They're a bunch of nobodies. Just get rid of them. We're done here. Alright, now we raid the silk. Alright, well, to answer the question of whether it was worth it or not, the answer is no. <laughs> By the time we actually raided that village, we were just paying the daily wages. It took us like two or three days to raid the village. So that's two to three days of wages. So all the gold that we stole just covered the cost of the men. We did steal some silk, but the silk's not exactly worth a lot. I mean... We stole 29 bags of silk at the price of 7 a bag. Was it really worth it? No, it was not. Raiding is not the way to go for money. Raiding is just to punish your enemies. Some enemy lords did show up, but to be honest with you... Oh, I was going to say I won't be able to catch them, but they've just attacked me. Apologies if I am butchering these names, but Dong and Shulung have decided to team together to take down the Golden Phoenix. If we can kill these guys, take them both prisoner, this should be at least a 10k battle. 10k for ransoming them both, plus the prisoners we take, plus the battle loot. We might be even looking towards 20k by the end of it. But the question is, can we win? <laughs> it's all well and good saying this is a potential 20,000 gold battle. But if we don't win it, I mean it's going to cost us a lot more than that to rebuild. Alright, we have this fog covering the battlefield, which is not great. The enemy have 26 horse archers, which is not great. They have a lot more cav than I was anticipating, to be honest with you. We didn't pay any attention to what their army is actually made up of. The horse archers can be a right pain. Alright, well, we just cut down three of them, so we'll take that. Can we get any more? Can we help out the lads? Ow. Would you kindly not shoot me, please? Well, all the enemy cavalry has crashed into each other, which is great. <laughs> Makes it easier for the men to shoot. Alright, lads. This... Oh, God. Oh, God. Don't mind me. Who are you? Just die. Just die, everyone die, please. Right, infantry, just attack, lads. There's no point standing around to be shot at. You know how it is. The enemy are just going to be a pain. So, we're going to have to get rid of them. Their shields are pretty big. I'm getting kicked by horses that have no riders. This guy with a big mace is doing my head in. Just die, buddy. There we go. Alright, that is another one gone. Let me reload my crossbow. And... Bang! Okay, we, we missed that one. Is there anyone else around here? It's just the cavalry, I think. Those armored knights are great. They have, they tank so much damage. 
We need something like that in the Yan Dynasty, to be honest with you, lads. Oh, we just killed the man's horse. That's going to be him dead. He ain't going to get away from the men. Overall, this has been a great success. Nice bit of renown. Only one man officially died. Two prisoners, just like we had hoped. The army is entirely ready to level up. Alright, so after defeating those two lords, we are down a couple of thousand gold because I had to spend it upgrading the army since they were all ready to rank up. But if we head to a nearby settlement that doesn't want me dead, that's the key point here, one that doesn't want me dead, we can ransom the lords, ransom the prisoners, sell the battle loot, and we can see how much we profited from that one battle alone. I think this is probably the nearest settlement. So, we're going to head on over. Hopefully, we don't get attacked on the way. All right, here we go. What are we dealing with? We're down to 50,000 because we just had to spend a few more days uh, expenses. Look at those expenses, man. It is not good being down 2k a day. Can we afford that? So, we made 10k from ransoming the prisoners alone, which is great. Now, it's time for the battle loot. I'll just take a quick look that we're not selling something that I can actually use. Oh, here we go. We got some new mittens, lads. And that is 13,000 in battle loot. So overall, over 20,000 made from a single battle. These are the ones we want. If we need to profit from the war, that's what we need to do. So that being said, I guess the only thing left to do is to jump back on the battlefield and cut down more enemy lords. We're coming for you, lads. We are coming for you. The Golden Phoenix needs money. All right, we have our next opponent, but have we bitten off more than we can chew? We are versing 150 against our 100. After the last fight, I do have even more crossbows, which will come in handy. There's going to be about 50 cavalry in the fight, which uh, is not ideal. Although, that being said, the Yan Dynasty do have a lot of spears. If that cavalry comes within range, we can take out their horses no problem. I hope. Alright, lads, I won't lie. We might have gone overboard on the crossbows. And now the crossbows outnumber the infantry. The ratio has flipped. <laughs> oh, man, I've been making every recruit a crossbowman. This is a little bit awkward. Unless the crossbows deal a lot of damage, then that would be great. So, men, fire away. Fire away. We need to kill as many as we possibly can because that infantry will not hold against the enemy infantry. There's just too many of them. I guess we send in our one cavalry. I was going to make more cavalry, then I realized we don't own any horses. So that was a bit of a inconvenience shall we say all right lads don't focus too much on the horse archers the infantry will be here any second we do need to kill the infantry all right for now the kill feed is green which is great that's what we like to see and i probably should not have got off my horse there all right, back off, lads. Back off. That's it with your intimidation tactics. We aren't falling for that one. You're either going to attack us or you're not. Make up your mind. I think they listened to my warning and they're now attacking us. That was not a good idea to call them out. Sorry, lads. <laughs> oh, that's still a lot of infantry. Not ideal. Alright, men. Attack. If we can send our infantry in. The kill feed's getting a bit red now, which is not what I wanted to see. So, I'm going to run over and help the lads out as much as possible. I'm coming, men. Hold the line. Hold the line. The Yan Dynasty does not fall today. We are the Golden Phoenix. We will rise from the ashes. Okay, I'm getting kicked by horses. Could you not, please?
All right, I'm coming, buddy. Hang in there. Hang in there, lads. There we go. All right. I think we're okay. With a question mark, I don't really... I just saw that, buddy. You can't just run in, cut down my man, and run out. All right, you know what? That man is ours. We just watched him cut down one of our soldiers, so the next time he comes past on his little run... Oh, no. That it again. Where, where is this guy going? He's mine, I tell you. We're gonna get him sooner or later. You know what? Let's take the horse, lads. We're in pursuit. This knight is not getting away from us. Alright, come on, buddy. Come on. There we go. And he was the leader as well. Well, one crossbow bolt to the head sorted him right out. So, in terms of damage done, we lost seven men, but majority got wounded. It looked a lot worse than I thought it was going to be, to be honest with you. We've lost a good chunk at the bar at the top, so I thought we were going to expect a lot more casualties. But, the men are tough and they just get knocked out. Alright, it is time to head back to the settlement and see how much money we made from that fight. We do have an army siege in this castle, so I might join them and help them out on our way back. So we got about 5,000 in prisoners, not too bad, but I think the battle loot was mainly where the money was. Alright, so in terms of battle loot, we pretty much made the same amount of money as last time. The only difference this time round is we didn't make as much money from the prisoners. Although that being said, we have already spent 10,000 of our newly found gold on expenses. Oh man, it really is expensive to keep this army going. I don't know how we're going to fund it all. But either way, we're going to join up with the Emperor himself and we are going to siege this castle. Alright, we have made it to the castle. We are going to assist the men in taking it. That being said, it turns out this isn't the Emperor. I got the wrong name. But either way, there are 500 attackers and about 250 defenders. If we attack now, lads, we could probably take them out. Okay, he listened to my advice. We are going in. Oh man, what kind of terrain is this? The castle is in the middle of nowhere, up on some hill. And we have to weave our way in and out of all these mountains to try and get there. Where are you going, buddy? I'm following you, so you must know the way. Alright, we have made it to the castle walls. There are a lot of enemy archers up here. I'm going to use my crossbow and see if we can kill a lot of them. That's two lads. That's a third one. Reload the crossbow a sec. Pop another one. And another. Oh, we didn't kill that one. Oh man, it, it feels great having a crossbow in a siege. I won't lie. Especially a crossbow that holds three bolts at a time. Kill feed is looking a bit nasty though, I won't lie, those ballistas are tearing us apart. Alright, we need to see if we can take out one of the ballistas. It'd uh, take the pressure off the men a little bit. There we go. That is one. Although it won't be long before someone else jumps on it, to be honest with you. And someone has jumped on the ballista. Get off the ballista, lads. I'm not letting you shoot the men. There's another one on the ballista. Really? When will it end? When will it end? Alright, that's another one off it. <laughs> Anyone else going to grab that ballista now? Anybody? I've got perfect sights on it. One of you touched that ballista. Oh, okay. He didn't listen to my warning. He is going to have to die. There you go. We got two more bolts with your names on it, lads. Alright, that's another one. Final bolt. If a man touches that... Alright. There we go. We're out now. <laughs> 
we got to give them the ballista. There's nothing else I can do about it. But the front gate is down. So I guess we will tag along with the men. Get this second gate open and we will cut down the defenders. We have lost over 100 men just trying to breach the castle because of that ballista fire. I see a lot of Golden Phoenix members. I see we are being thrown through the front gate to our death. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, come on lads. Let's cut our way in, shall we? We're nearly through. I'm just trying to punch a line through their defense. And we're in. All right. Let's start cutting them down from behind, clearing it for the men. All right, lads. That's it. That is it. Now we just clean up here and cut down the remainder. This castle is not going to hold for long. It is over for the Rablam Kingdom. That's it, men. That is it. Storm the castle. It is ours. We have defeated the Rablam this day. Out of the 67 that had died, only three of them were ours. In terms of money, it wasn't really that great. You don't get that many prisoners from a siege, especially when you have a massive AI army with you. And in terms of battle loot, we only get a share of the battle loot as well. So I guess the question is, how can we profit? Where do we make our money? We've just tried doing some war profiteering and we've proven raiding villages is just not the way to go. It's not sustainable. Capturing enemy lords and selling their armies along with the battle loot is a good way to make money. Sieging castles is okay. It's better than villages but not as good as taking the lords out ourselves. So what do we do to make the money? Last time I resorted to smithing. Do we just smith again? Make swords on the side to fund our wars? What is the plan? But that is going to be it for this part of the Yan Sheng series. We did a bit of war profiteering, like I said. A big thank you to the Gwaggles members for your continued support. And if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe. And until next time, see ya.